Okay, it's finally time to talk about this movie that people just cannot stop talking about. When I say people, I mean, of course, people who are obsessed with Oscar season. Hi, it's Charles and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi, my name is Charles and yes, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the movie Nomadland, directed by Chloe Zhao, starring Francis McDormand and David Strathairn. All the other people in this movie are apparently real people, they just use them in the movie, and I'm just like, interesting, interesting. So if you don't know, this movie is about a woman named Fern who, you know, sells basically all the stuff that she has because she can't really afford a home anymore, and, you know, she decides to live in a van and just go search for jobs wherever she can, and that really is the gist of this movie, I think pretty sure is how most people would put it. She just goes from place to place looking for jobs to work and you know meeting people who teach her how to live on the road and live this kind of lifestyle and I was just like huh this is very nomadic just like the title of the movie Nomad Land. Right off the bat I gotta say that the cinematography of the movie is pretty stunning. It really recalled to me the cinematography of the tree of life, the way they showed the images in this movie, I was like, this is beautiful. And also the score, I was like, ooh, the person who's doing the score in this movie is doing the work because the cinematography of the movie and the score were doing a lot, a lot of the heavy lifting, if you ask me. There are so many moments in this movie where they're just showing you images on screen and you just hear that score and I'm just like, wow, this is very powerful, this is compelling. I There's no words, it's just images and sound and I'm just like, I feel very compelled and pulled in by what you're showing me, Chloe. I love the score and the cinematography of this movie so much, but you know, without Chloe Zhao's direction and Francis McDormand's great performance, this movie wouldn't be what it is. The way Chloe Zhao directs this movie, I mean, after watching it, I'm just like, I can see why she's the clear frontrunner for the Best Director Oscar. She makes this movie so intimate, but at the same time, it feels so open and very wide and expansive. I mean, maybe it's because all like the going throughout the country of it all and all these wide shots of nature and all these other things. But you know what? I just felt like she showed us a side of humanity that we don't really pay attention to, but really exists here in America and probably other places of the world. But I was just like, hmm, this felt very big, but at the same time small. I've seen Chloe Zhao's other movie, The Writer, and I think that movie's a fine movie, but this movie, I don't know. I feel like Chloe Zhao has really found like a topic or material more like it to really sink her teeth in and, you know, to really expand upon. Because The Writer, it was good, it had something to say, but this movie, I feel like it has even more to say than that movie did. Honestly, Chloe Zhao produced this movie, she directed this movie, and she wrote the movie. Be prepared for three Oscar nominations for Chloe Zhao because she deserves them, she deserves them, and she deserves to win at least like one of them, which is probably going to be directing. When it comes to Frances McDormand's performance, I think she did a pretty good job in the movie. Her performance was very nuanced, very subtle, and I mean, if you watch the movie, you know the character of Fern really isn't flashy or showy at all. She's more contemplative, she's not really going to be doing anything really big. A lot of those quiet moments she had in the movie was really powerful to me and I was just like, ooh honey, you're making me sad and depressed. I'm just like, ugh. People are saying, well not everyone, some people are saying that Frances McDormand is the front runner for the Best Actress Oscar, but y'all it's not going to happen because she already has two Oscars, she won her second Oscar really recently, so the performance has to be amazing and show-stopping, something they can't deny to give her that third one. and. That's not gonna happen because this performance is good, but it's not that. Carrie Mulligan is like, get out of my way, Frances McDormand. This is my Oscar. I'm going to win it. And I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. Carrie Mulligan is the person who should win the Best Actress Oscar this year. I mean, Promising Young Woman, that movie deserves to get at least one or two Oscars. Maybe Best Actress and Best Original Screenplay. But this movie, I'm just like, it will take home most likely director and maybe even adapted screenplay. And maybe even picture, maybe. So I'm just like, girl, we do not need to give Frances a third Oscar right now. So... In conclusion, Frances McDormand gives a great performance in this movie, but she didn't win that Oscar in my opinion. Honestly though, the people in this movie that they just got on the movie who are real people telling their stories of how they ended up where they are, I was just like, this, uh, it kind of breaks my heart, but at the same time, some of them are like, this is what we want, but I'm like, is this really what you want? I mean, people say that kind of stuff, but it's like, if you had the money, would you really be here? And my mind's like, the answer probably would be no for a lot of these people. But you know what? I'm just like, as long as they're able to take care of themselves and they're not in harm's way and they're not like 
doing anything rude to other people and like getting in other people's ways that badly, then I'm just like, go off, you know, go off. The way this movie came full circle by the end of it, I was just like, this is depressing me. It's depressing me so much. Overall though, I'm just like, it's a good movie. It's moving, it's powerful, but at the same time, it's somber and it's depressing. So if you think that's something you want to watch, then watch it. But I think it is a good movie and worth the watch. So yeah. I watched this movie on Hulu and I could have watched this in theaters as my local theaters has just reopened up to 40% capacity. But you know what? Watching it, I was just like, you know what? Would it have been nice to see this on a big screen? Yes. But at the same time, I was like, I'm very comfy in my blanket and my pillows surrounding me. So I'm good watching it on TV. Well, those were my thoughts on No Man Land. I mean, it is a huge Oscar contender. And I mean, if you watch the movie, you'll see why. Or maybe you won't because some people might not like the movie, but even though it's not my favorite movie, like in the Oscar race, I think it's a pretty good one in general. Well, that was my review. And if you like reviews, you should subscribe to my channel because I do movie reviews, I talk about Blu-rays, I do music reactions, and you know, I do whatever else I wanna do on this channel because you know, it's my channel and I'm gonna do whatever else I wanna do. So if any of that sounds interesting to you and if you like my personality, then you know, subscribe because you know, why not? And hey, I have a letter box. So if you have a letter box, then follow me because I'm always watching a movie every day. So yeah. Okay, with that, I'm going to go now. So thank you again for coming to my channel and watching this whole review. And, you know, I will see you in the next video if you're here, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep. So I'm going to go now. So, yes, um, bye.